Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another Versus Beers with me, Peter, the master of profits today going by. Tobias, the mayor of macros. Spelling more perennial beer, and we're doing two vintages of Habratus from perennial. Cheers. Uh, so we're battling the 17 and 18 Abraxas bottles. Uh, interesting thing, so you probably know Abraxas, it's a, I've been reviewed it a few times, it's a great, one of my favorite uh, Mexican-inspired Imperial styles. I did a blinder, yeah, well it was a blind battle between this and Hunapu, which was my original favorite, favorite, but I like this one more. After doing that, I figured out I like the big cinnamon character on this. Mm -hmm. But the fun thing is like the, just like with, when we did the sump tasting, the old vintage is less in ABV than the new one. So the 17 is 10%, the new one is 11.5. Both are imperial stop brewed with ancho, ancho chili peppers, cacao nibs, or cacao nibs, and cinnamon sticks. But the big difference as well is like the new vintage also says contains cinnamon. Or cinnamon, sorry, lactose. lactose. Contains lactose. So the thing is, it was the same with some. So I wonder if it's something they put on there because they actually put it in, or it's because they use lactose in their pro some of their products and there's a chance that lactose gets in one of the... Uh, that's how it is with cereal factories. Right? Yeah, yeah. Can contain traces of nuts. Yeah. That's so, just because some other product contains... Yeah, so whatever. maybe that's the case. I don't yeah. know. I don't know how it works. It's probably a weird state loss. But it'll be fun to try these. Um, a great beer. Have you had it before? So, Brent and I, I think, tried it at NBCC once. But again, with all the beers at NBCC, yeah. they kind of blur together. Well, I think we should start with the old vintage. Yes. Old, the 17. I agree. And well, that looks like a pitch black imperial style the glass. Yeah. Tan looking head on there. It looks very similar to something, actually. Very much. Maybe maybe a tight da dagger. Yeah. yeah it's foam. Yeah, I agree. Let's go to the aroma. Definitely a big cinnamon. <laughs> the thing is, though, it's a bit more for me restrained on cinnamon than I remember. Even though it's very full on, <laughs> but I just yeah. remember first it's like even more cinnamon in your face. But it's like I'm also getting. It reminds me of honey cake. Ah oh, yeah yeah, Danish Christmas cake. Yeah, very. It's dreamy. like a sponge cake with honey mm. and spices. I'm also and think, thinking maybe like plum cake or something like Ooh, that. Oh yeah, like, for like sure. these dark fruits. And it's definitely got more dark fruit than I remember from a, like having it fresh. There's definitely mm. some kind of dark fruit, dark fruit edge, and also definitely a good amount of like a, kind of like a. Broody chili mm. type aroma. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Also, but 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 not like spicy chili, but no, but yeah. just like yeah, peppery. But you can sense there's gonna be a little bit of a kick of heat. Mm. To it. Definitely chocolate. Definitely like vanilla notes. Yeah, roasted more, almost like a slightly smoky. So like, I think anti like, chili like is a pastry, smoky. but without getting too. Smoky. Yeah. So the thing is, it smells similar to what people are doing nowadays as pastry stocks, but it smells like real. Yeah. It smells, yeah. you know, yeah. I, I, I was, I've been a big advocate for pastry stuffs, but I've gotten to a point now that I've had so many and so many are doing them. So getting ones that are like this is not too often. Whereas you get a lot that are just like thinner stouts that are filled with some kind of flavoring. Mm. But whereas this like this has a super strong base you can smell like this, it smells rich and dense, mm. which is I guess what you want when you do this, but it smells great. Should we try the, the 17? Absolutely. Let's do it. Cheers. And also, again, thanks to Beer Gym for supplying the 17. Again, we bought the 18 ourselves this time around, but uh, 17 we got from Beer Gym. I've just been sitting in my stomach for a while, so hmm. cheers. Check them out. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's my kind of stout. Oh, that's so good. I fucking love that breakfast so much, and we're sitting with two bottles right now. This, this is great. It's gonna be a good evening. <laughs> it is a good evening. Good, good night. Evening. Good, good Shut night. up, Brett. <laughs> it's totally mm. not yeah. one o'clock. No, you're going to sleep well. Mm. Big That's great. With Extra big chocolate, big cinnamon. But the yeah. cinnamon is not like. What I remember from super fresh breakfast, like the cinnamon is so in your face mm. that it dominates a lot. It's still very forward, but it really like it's you can more like, really get the other things. It's more well. like a general spice, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I agree. Big chocolate, so you can you can definitely taste. It's like, in my opinion, the the cinnamon and the vanilla and the chili is kind of, it's it's blending together yeah. and then just providing this kind of uh, general spice. This like really which, nice and cohesive flavor profile mm -hmm. that's melded and blended well that works really well together. 
Yeah. Um, it's not like you get an over cinnamony or over chili or over chocolatey stuff. Yeah. It's like it's really well merged. And the hint of sweet vanilla, um, but that kind of honey cake thing is also yeah. kind of there. Ginger. Absolutely. Ginger cakes. No, it's not the same actually. Honey cake. Uh, no, no, no. But it's also kind of like just slightly ginger. Yeah, 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 it's kind of. But there's no ginger in it. That's no, no. Thing. But I think it's the same. The combination of flavors. Make yeah, yeah. I can see it. It's kind of like slightly gingerbread, like kind of like the gingerbread stuff we had with uh, with Michael. Mm. But this mm -hmm. is just much stronger of a base beer. Super thick and rich and creamy. Also, big chocolate. There's definitely mm -hmm. some roast profile. But this is like kind of like the ex hundred percent the base stout I want. For edge and stuff. Yeah. Hundred percent. Sweet, fudgy without being like too cloying. Thick as hell. Thick as hell. Yeah. A little bit of balance from some spiciness and whatnot. And then you just get like big shining adjuncts. This is to me is what I'd say like the perfect base for a spiced or adjunct style yeah. or pastry style if you want to call that. Because the base is so strong and awesome without you know, detracting from it, anything. It's else. actually a beer that affords putting something else than beer yes. in it. Completely agree. Mm. Pretty fucking delicious. So it'll be interesting to see if the the 18 vintage is as good, mm -hmm. especially because it's so much stronger. It's interesting that both yeah. Sump and, and, and Abraxas have gone that much up in EBV. It's so. a it's funny like step they've taken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I wonder if it's uh, something they did on purpose or if it's just coincidental. It might be. It, may, it might be the same base. Mm. I don't know. But um, I mean, it pours a similar color. Maybe it's a white. bit thicker head? Yeah, more dense. Yeah, I think so. But that could be the glass. It could be many things. But it still looks nice to see all the aroma. Ooh, wow. What the hell? What? Huge difference. Yeah. Huge. This is really boozy. And yeah, the adjuncts are super mild compared yeah. to the fresh one. Our old age one. What? It, this was so not, strange. This was not what I expected. No. I, I thought like a, a smack in the face with cinnamon. But you know what? We got a similar thing from Sump. Yeah. yeah the yeah. newer yeah, vintages yeah. of Sump were... Well, it was good, but the coffee thing, it was not, it's just not as Yeah, it was right. just dialed down some way. I'm very curious now. Let's, let's just try it. Yeah. Cheers. I'm straight ahead. Nice space, mm. but wow, it's subdued on the adjuncts. Yeah, adjuncts are almost gone. It's so much lighter. It's almost dr like drinking some without the coffee and a hint of cinnamon and a, and, and a more chili and some chocolate. Yeah, actually, actually a lot of vanilla on this. I think this, the new one is much more chocolate focused. And chocolate and, and like vanilla. a bit of cinnamon. And then the yeah, other, and I kind of hate that because... It's kind of gone. Yes, but, but the thing is, what I hate about that is because like, what I loved about Abraxas is was the balance between the ingredients and the massive amount of cinnamon where it worked well. Mm. I already, just one sip, I already know that I prefer the yeah. the 17. I've been thinking that for 100%. minutes. <laughs> I'd say, in, 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 in my opinion, the, the, the newer one, is it, it may have some more spice. It's it's not like it's... it's no, no, it's not the of the spices. No. But, but the, 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 the ratios like, must be different. Yeah. And again, like we talked about with the previous ones, the carbonation is also higher. Mm. It's, it's more fizzy. Yeah. It detracts a bit from the mouthfeel. And it's also sweeter, isn't it? Yeah, but I think your theory that it's the same base that they use for Abraxas and some that's actually quite plausible. I think so. Yeah. Wow. It's it's like almost like drinking two different beers. Yeah. Seriously, just because of the amount of cinnamon on the. Yeah. If, the this, if this was a blind tasting, I wouldn't guess that it would, nope. would have the same label. What the hell? They must have that that one percent jump in ABV must be because of updated recipes. Yeah. Wow, that's a shit. That's a shame. Yeah, just kind, kind I, of, well, I don't kind know. Of too bad. Maybe they, or maybe they're trying to do something different. You know, that some other adjunct shine. Just yeah. go back to the older breakfast, please, because that was that's. But this don't call us conservative. You know, <laughs> I'm very open minded, but <laughs> this is not a break. The older breakfast. Wow, I'm so floored by the fact that we had two uh, perennial beers 
vintage versus fresh and the vintage one. Because I've always had the idea that always drink these beers fresh. Yeah. Or the adjuncts shine. That's also what I've learned. But that is probably also something to do with the fact that, you know, how the recipe and everything is designed. Wow, it's, it's, they're massively different beers. Mm. Not to say that, okay, this is still a... Uh, it's the, still a very good beer. Great adjunct imperial stout, but it's... And uh, just the base is also quite nice, but it's way different. Mm. I'll say a 97 on the 17. Fantastic, yeah. world class, uh, Mexican inspired imperial stout. And okay, that being said, we're trashing a bit, but you were. It's just because I'm so baffled by it, by by the, by the sheer difference between these because two vintages. both are great beers. But mm. as I said, I'd say the 17 is world class. The other one's slightly below, so I'll still go, I'll go 94, 90, no 94, I think, mm -hmm. maybe 93, 94 on the 18. And it's like, well, what we were sitting saying, it sounds like, oh, fuck, they, 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 all the breakfast is No, no, no. It's just, I'm just so baffled, baffled by the difference of vintage. But the 17, for sure, is my favorite. Mm. But 18 is still fucking great. But not like, for me, at least, like, up in that world-class edge as 17. What's my thoughts? Yeah. 100% I mean, honest. Speaking truth. <laughs> I, I agree with you that, that, that 17 is better, and, and I'm going to go with you on the 90, 97. Oh, that's fucking great. Yeah, very, very, absolutely great stout, yeah, Mexican stout. And then, I'm not sure if I can see the 94 on this one. I think I'm going to go 92. So, nevertheless, it's uh, it's great fun to try these two beers, uh, two vintages of the same beer side by side. Yeah, it's awesome we get to do it, because... You it's not, we've had them in Denmark a couple of times, but it's not something you see too often. No. So this is like courtesy of Beer Gym and luck locally. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so it's really awesome. And I mean, Perennial makes some great beers. Yeah. Don't, don't take this as a knocking on Perennial and like, oh, they're getting worse. I mean, what what we had at NBCC was fucking awesome. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. The Barley Wine and the Blue Ridge and some of the Barley, like Barley 17 was fucking amazing. Still a great beer, but I, this, this, I never expected I love an aged vintage compared to the new one but i will say as you said it seems like there is some kind of difference in recipe on the two mm. for sure they seem quite different i think that's gotta be the conclusion for today yeah long as rambling reviews but that's what happens when you battle beer side by side and you're fucking geeks and passionate about these beverages so you can't help doing it no. but i hope you guys enjoyed the review uh brett do you have a final thought Favorite? Uh, Quickly? Yeah, absolutely. The the seventeen, ninety, no, ninety-seven. And as always, Brett's word is the law. Yeah. yeah. So my word is the law. Yes. So ninety-seven for the seventeen, and maybe a ninety-two, ninety-three for the eighteen. So. Well, we actually agree. Amazing. Yeah. We have very similar palettes. Great. Yeah. We're gonna wrap this review up now. It's been way too long, and hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out Beer Gym, by the way. If you're lucky, they might still have 17 left because they've got it in their cellar. A small amount left. That's why I got it. I saw they got it. I was like, yes, because they wanted to do it side by side. So check them out. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers and see you guys in the beer review.